How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I've got for you is the Lunar New Year 2019 promo potentials and breakdown and discussing it and whatnot what's going to happen to fifa what we could get in the game what we will get in the game what we won't get in the game etc etc i'm super excited for this promo it should be out in the next few weeks so i am looking forward to it personally and, uh, and i hope you guys are too because in my opinion it's one of the best promos first of all what is lunar new year lunar new year is of course the chinese new year it is the new year for people in china where they essentially have like I think they have the 12 animals that they have different years of. I have no idea what year it is this year. I think last year was the year of the ram, or maybe that was a year before that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but they have, obviously, their, their animals and they have the new year. So they celebrate New Year's in February as opposed to in uh, the on the 1st of January like us. Um, and EA always do a promo where we actually get a free pack or free packs uh, and a bunch of other cool stuff, which is really exciting. So hopefully this year, we actually get something very similar. On the screen right now, I have got for you a video of me from last year from in FIFA 18. Um, and as you can see, there has not really been a, much a difference of me in general. Uh, I look like I have the same mic, even though I don't have a much better mic um i still have a mic on i'm still doing pretty much the same thing have the same pop-up uh, we gotta change that anyway um as you see on the screen i'm opening a free 125k pack now last year uh sorry this is a rare place pack. this was on my uh, playstation i will show you the 125k pack on my xbox last year uh for logging into ultimate team for a certain amount of days i want to say it was like 90 days you got a free ultimate pack and then anything less than that you got like a rare plays pack or a prime gold plays pack or 100k pack uh they they ranked it based on how many days you'd logged into FIFA ultimate team um i don't think it, it mattered how long you'd stayed on it just if you'd logged into ultimate team on that day um and uh and you get a free pack or you got like a free uh ultimate pack or a free rare plays pack or a free jumbo rare players pack um so what i did i opened a bunch of them now the date on this video is actually february 16th 2018 so february 16th is when we got the free packs last year i think it'll be roughly the same date this year now lunar new year this year the chinese new year is actually tuesday the 5th of february 2019 that is in uh how long that is in basically a week uh essentially a week yeah like six seven days so we are probably expected to get this promo maybe this monday or maybe uh the follow the friday the following of the tuesday uh i'm expecting us to get like a really cool promo and i'll talk more about that in just a second but i want to show you guys what these packs all look like um from my rare players pack on playstation uh i actually missed this uh, animation a little bit like i know i don't like knowing that we've got a walkout i like it when i've got a walkout but i don't like it when i've not got a walkout um this just seemed way more exciting um i thought that it was gonna be neymar and of course it wasn't uh you know i've been baiting been baited like this for uh, years now um but as you see, they had new SBCs. The Team of the Week upgrade came out. Um, we had a bunch of SBC packs here. We had rare players packs. I think we had two for one packs as well, which is really cool. So you bought a pack in the store and you got a free pack to open after it. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of that. I think this is on my Xbox account now. Um, and I wanted to show you guys here. Look, this is a, I think this is the two for one packs that we got. Uh, is it? I think so. As you can see there, two for one ultimate pack, meaning you'd get an ultimate pack back for opening them. Uh, they were a lightning round, which I thought was really cool. So uh, I think in this video, I opened up like four and I got four free ones as well. Um, but we also got free ultimate packs just for playing the game, which I thought was really cool. So we have that to look forward to, I think for 100%. I'm like, I'm, I would be willing to bet money that we are guaranteed that this year. Like I think that that is definitely something that would be guaranteed. But there's a lot of different prom uh, like potential promotional stuff they could bring out as well, which I'm excited for. Um, uh, I do want to talk a little bit more in depth about that in just a second. Uh, I think EA have been changing the game a little bit this year in terms of promos in a good way. You know, Team of the Year was really, really good. I think Future Stars was a pretty dope promo as well. So I think EA are changing it up a lot this year uh, and we'll see more in the future. And I think that this is going to be one of those promos where we see more and more and more different stuff and new stuff. So uh, I think that'd be pretty exciting. And I want to talk a little bit about that right now. I think it'd be an opportunity lost if EA didn't implement something with the Chinese Super League this year for Lunar New Year. So I have gone and uh, drafted up a few cards I think we could see as a potential like really cool boosted CSL cards. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the CSL was a really underused league this year, apart from the St. Maximin SPC, where it seems to be, uh, sorry, not the SPC, the uh, weekly objective. Uh, apart from that, it's a very underused league, or especially it is 
Between the divisions of 4-1, to one, which are the divisions that I've been playing in all weekend league, I haven't personally played any CSL teams. Maybe you have. That doesn't mean it's used, it's used a lot if you've played a, a CSL team. I just want to quickly say that and save the comments. But I've drafted up a few really cool cards that would be really dope to have in the game. And I hope EA do something like that with uh, with having a really cool promo team. Um, and here they are on the screen right now. As you can see, we have uh, five cards. Sorry, seven cards on here. I don't know why I thought five. Um... These, of course, are only potential. These aren't, like, confirmed or anything like that. I'm not confirming anything. But it'd be cool if we had cards like this, you know, like a 93 Alex Pato or an 89 Hulk or an 86 Guarin or a Teixeira or Paulinho, Anderson Taliska or a Bakambu. Any of those would be absolutely fantastic because I don't see them impacting the market very much or impacting how the game's played very much because uh, I don't think a lot of people would use these cards, truthfully. I think it'd just be... Uh, They'd be used more by the, the, the people with like icons and stuff, which of course is a lot of people now anyway, to be fair. Um, but I can see them doing something similar to this with the CSL or maybe just having a some kind of, of cool CSL team. Uh, I think EA definitely want to... I want to pass the question off to you. If you guys think that this is something you want to see, let me know what cards you want to see from the CSL. I think that another one I'd like to see is maybe Carrasco or Renato Augusto or Oscar, you know, the ex-Chelsea player. That would be fantastic to see. Uh, or maybe even Musa Dembele if he moves on to the... Uh, CSL. I don't know if he moves in January or the, the end of the season, but if he has moved in January, that would be cool to have like a 90-something a rated a Musa Dembele card. That would be fantastic. So hopefully EA do something like this and they roll with it. It'd be dope to get a couple of prime icons out as well. Give us some of the big boys. Give us like a Cruyff. I'm sorry for hitting my mic so much. Give us a Cruyff. Give us a Seydorf. Give us a Eusebio. I know Seydorf isn't exactly like the most meta of cards, but just give us some of the big boys, EA. We're waiting for them. Don't give us them in, like, June. We don't want Hullet in June, you know? We want him in, like, February. We want him when the game is still ripe and hot and fresh and people are still playing it. So hopefully EA do bring out some really cool promo stuff. I'm excited for it. I think that we'll get some dope SBCs and I think that we'll get some dope cards as well. Um, of course, I'm excited for that. I'm always excited for promos. They're always the best time of the year. Um, and I think we're expecting the one to watch promo too soon, which I am expecting to be absolutely awful. I don't know about you, but I don't know of any memorable, apart from Higuain maybe, I don't have any memorable signings for the January transfer window. I can think of like three, uh, Boateng to Bayern Munich, uh, Boateng to Bayern Munich, Boateng to Barcelona, um, Monaco signed for Cesc Fabregas and then Chelsea signed Higuain. They're the three that I can think of. Apart from that, I can't think of any decent cards that will get ones to watch. So hopefully this takes the cake. I'm really excited for it and uh, hopefully you guys are too. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. I'm going to leave you guys with some packs from the Lunar New Year last year so you guys can see what they look like. And I'll see you later. Yes, we do. There we go. Okay, 2,500. Okay, I got so scared then. I thought we weren't going to get them. I got well upset then. All right, first pack. It's going to be an inform, I think. What's it going to be? Come on, be Ronaldo. French. Center back. Go away. Go away. Uh, as a Man United fan, I don't like seeing this bloody Lejeune, whatever his name is. I just don't enjoy getting him. You know what? Get out of my club. <laughs> Go away. I don't like packing those players. I don't like packing players that get informs because they're played against Man United. It's just not fun. All right, I know now I've said I'm a Man United fan. You're all going to be in the comments like, oh, he's a Man United fan. Ruined. You're, you're bad. Your club's bad. Right, leave me alone, all right? Don't bully me in the comments. Next pack, we get another informer. Watch well, it be the same guy twice. Watch well, it be the same guy twice. It's going to be French. It's going to be centre back. It's going to be the same guy twice. QEA. What are you doing? EA, what are you doing? What are you doing to me, EA? Come on. And a Man City player right next to him. It's like they're deliberately doing it on purpose. EA hate me. Yeah, I'm calling it now. EA officially hate me. All right, we'll discard that. There we go. For God's sakes, EA. For goodness sakes. All right, here we go. We've got two more with FIFA points, and then we've got four packs that we get for free because of two for one. The next one's going to have, I think, a normal board drop in. If we get someone worth something, I'll be very happy. It's going to be German. It's going to be sunny mid. Ah, I thought it might be Cruz. If that was Cruz, that would have been actually really helpful because I need him for my team anyway. So... And I know my team doesn't really fit the meta, but I thought I'd just go with something like that anyway. We get a transfer uh, Van Dijk. He's actually incredible on this game. Van Dijk's one of the best centre-backs on this entire game. If you guys don't believe it, then I don't know. You guys need to try him out. You guys really need to try him out. Here we go, though. We've got one more with FIFA points. And I'll open a couple of the other packs as well. You know, like the uh, the rare mega packs and um, whatnot with the last FIFA points we've got left. So, we do not get a special card in the last one. Can it be someone good, though? Belgian, left mid. It's going to be Carrasco. I was hoping that would be left wing. Hazard, you know, you know what I was hoping for, but unfortunately we don't get it. We do not get it, unfortunately. We get Pedro. We get a couple of decent 84s there, which are decent because obviously the uh, Team of the Week packs are out. I might do a couple of Team of the Week packs uh, off 
camera because I enjoy doing them. Watch me pack someone sick like Ronaldo, and I can't even make a title around it. Um, but we've got 2,000 people points left. I'm going to open one of these, and then we're going to open a couple of the other packs as well. We'll see what we get. So, what are we going to get in the Rare Megas? I actually like these packs. I really do like the Rare Mega Packs. They're one of my favorite packs this year. I packed, like, Pogba in them. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you 